Can you believe there is a hysteria that surrounded the town of Salem, Massachusetts between 1692 and 1693? During this period of time, over 200 people were accused of being a witch, practicing the dark arts, or helping witches. In that group of 200, 20 were confirmed to be executed, with some believing there may have been more that went unlisted. Typically, women were the ones who would be accused of witchcraft. This event, however, was much more than just believing a woman was a witch. Instead, it was a hunt fueled by hate and religious extremism. This was the first major witch hunt in the New World. To understand why the Salem witch hunt occurred, we must look at what helped contribute to it. In 1688, the Nine Years' War between France and England began. This war would reach all the way into the New World, the conflict destroyed many parts of the Northeast, including parts of Canada, Massachusetts, and New York. Due to this, people were forced out of their homes, which many would end up in Salem. During the same time, the rigid Reverend Samuel Parris became Salem's first ordained minister. Parris would say the war occurring was the cause of the devil. In January 1692, Paris's daughter Betty and niece Abigail started acting bizarre. They would have fits, fight, and scream unknown sounds. The village doctor would blame it on the supernatural, stating it was the work of the devil and evil. The uproar took over the town and fear struck the citizens. Due to this, the leadership in the town were looking for someone to blame, which they did. They would blame Tatuba, a Caribbean slave owned by the Paris family, Sarah Good, a homeless beggar in the town, and Sarah Osborne, who was a poor elderly woman. They blamed these women, calling them evil and channeling the devil. Osborne and Good would deny all charges of being witches. However, Tatuba claimed that she was contacted by the devil, that she was a witch looking to destroy the Puritans, and that there were several other witches in the devil's book. This planted the seed of pure paranoia in the village. People went crazy accusing women in the town of being witches, due to low resources, bizarre behaviors, and bad things happening in the town. They began trials against women in the town, which continued to grow. This would eventually lead to the Salem Witch Trials, a famous and horrible moment in history where we would see innocent women hunted down and forced to defend themselves in a courtroom of those who they share a village with. Due to growing concerns of witches, accusations increased against those who were even strong members of the church. Something had to be done, and the government had to step in. On May 27, 1692, Governor William Phipps ordered the creation of the Special Court of Oyer and Terminer for the surrounding counties. The first accused brought to this court was Bridget Bishop, who would state her innocence, quoted, I am as innocent as the child unborn. She would become the first person hanged on June 10th on what would be called Gallows Hill. As the witch hunt grew, so did individuals fighting against it. Many became angry that the courts allowed evidence from dreams. Phipps would finally give up on his witch hunt when his own wife was called a witch, and the court would be dissolved on October 29th. By May of 1693, he would pardon those imprisoned with witchcraft charges. The hysteria in the region would cause the hangings of men and women, individuals dying in jail, and even the killing of dogs and other animals, as these people believed in the hysteria that the devil had taken over the town. Since these times, there have been many attempts to make up for the tragic events, including an apology, trying to restore the names, and even paying restitution to the heirs. Did you know how the Salem Witch Trials began? Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you at the next video. Believable Truths!